In today's video, we will discuss whether you should buy the Skytech Chronos from the Skytech website or not. We will talk about the model that's $2100, so if you have less money than that or more, you will have plenty of gaming desktops down below in the description as well with these PCs. And you can watch my video about the best private PCs of the month for August 2022 in the top right of the screen. With that being said, if you have a budget of $2100, you wanna watch this video because I will discuss some important topics to keep in mind before buying any of these PCs. Let's just start talking about the specifications for this one. It has the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X for the CPU. This is a really great CPU. Of course, we would like to see the 5800X 3D instead, but at this price point, probably PCs don't have that CPU yet. So the 5800X is still a great CPU for both gaming and streaming with one computer. Then for the GPU, you get the GeForce RTX 3080. This is the 10 gig version. It's a slightly worse in performance than the 12 gig version, but nothing too crazy. You won't notice a big difference so don't worry about the performance difference and you get 16 gigs of ram of ddr4 at 3200 megahertz this will be more than enough for gaming and you can upgrade it anytime that you want if you have the money to i do recommend you going for 32 gigs if you're a content creator but if you don't and you just want a game 16 gigs will be enough then for the storage you get one terabyte of gen 4 nvme and and ssd honestly i think that this is an overkill i think that skytech here could have gotten away with a gen 3 ssd which is going to perform the same for gaming it's a slow for content creation and all of that stuff but since you get 16 gigs of ram this pc is meant for gaming but maybe they could have saved some money by going with gen 3 ssd and lowering the price but anyway that's a pro if you're transferring big files all the time then for the power supply, we get an 850 watt 80 plus core power supply, which is great for future upgradeability. Let's say you want to upgrade the CPU to the i9 12700K or the i7 12700K, or more convenient on this case, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, so you don't have to change the whole motherboard. This power supply will be more than enough. And even if you go with a better GPU like the 3080 Ti or the 3090, an 850 watt will be enough. Then you get a 360 only one liquid cooler for the CPU, and the airflow will be pretty good because of that from my panel so we will get great cpu and gpu 10 so at 2100 dollars this is a competitive price on the market right now and we will compare it with different pcs to see if it's really worth your price on this case we will first compare it with the omen 45l this one is 2050 bucks right now but after a coupon code that i will leave you down below it's going to cost you around 1850 bucks and yes the 45l it's less upgradable because it has some proprietary parts like the motherboard and power supply but if we are being honest for gaming right now this is a better choice because you get the i7 12700k which is better for both gaming and productivity work so that's a plus and then you get the same RTX 3080, one terabyte of hard drive alongside 500 gigs of SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and the cooling system on this one is actually great. I've tested this PC, I will leave a whole review in the top right of the screen, but to be honest, 1850 bucks is way less than $2100. You end up saving around 250 bucks for the same, if not better, performance because of the i7 12700K. And the only thing that is worse is the upgradeability over time. So if you're someone that wanna change the whole PC down the line, then the Kronos will make sense for the price difference. However, for performance right now, the Omen 45L is better, you end up saving some money. So that is actually up to your needs. But let me tell you that the 45L will be great for both 1440p and 4K gaming. Now let's compare it with NCXT to be specific with the streaming pro PC. And I don't really like this PC for the price, 2200 bucks. And yes, you get the Ryzen 7 5800X, once again, the 3080. So the performance will be the same, if not a little bit better because of those 32 gigs of RAM, especially at productivity work but you have to bear in mind that it's a hundred dollars more expensive and you get worse airflow this is not a good case especially for the 3080 and it's a hundred dollars more expensive so if you want those 32 gigs of ram i would recommend you are reading it with the money that you have left on the chronos one instead of this one and you will get a system with better airflow and on top of that you get a 750 watt 80 plus bronze power supply where on the chronos one you get an 850 watt 80 plus gold the 750 watt it's i wouldn't say it's terrible but you should definitely go with an 850 watt for this type of computer another pc that you shouldn't buy at all you have to avoid this pc 
is the Origin Neuron 4000X RTS. This one has the RTX 3070, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, which doesn't make any sense right now. A 3690 motherboard, one terabyte of hard drive, 480 gigs of M.2 SSD, a 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply, and the i7 12700K alongside the Corsair 4000X with RGB. This is a beautiful case. This is a really great PC, but you're spending 2700 bucks for a gaming desktop with a 3070, but for 2700 dollars, you should avoid it at all costs. Then we have really similar PCs to the Kronos one, like this CUK MPG gaming PC from Amazon. It has the RTX 3080, 10 gig version once again, and then you get the i7 12700F, which might be a little bit better for gaming than the Ryzen 75800X. However, I would like to see the i7 12700K instead of the F version, just like the Omen 45L, because you get the extra iGPU that will help you out with video editing, and that's a pro if you're looking to do something like that. But then you get 32 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of SSD, and 2 terabyte of hard drive, so it's really similar to the Kronos one, but it's worth mentioning that it's $50 more, and the airflow doesn't look very promising. So overall, I think that the Kronos one on the market right now is actually a good choice for the price. However, of course, for 2100 bucks you can build it by yourself and get a much better pc i have a lot of videos about pc builds that i do recommend you watching and if you want to keep yourself updated i recommend you clicking the bell button so you get notified when i upload this type of content but if you don't want to build it by yourself a private pc is the best choice for you and the chronos one won't disappoint you thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one